Hi, I'm Chuck Dorset for Weaver Leather Supply. Let's talk about clasps and closures. Tough to say, but easy to add. In fact, the right closure can absolutely make a project. And I bet a number of us have created projects around a unique closure. Now, we're gonna talk about a tuck, a swing, and a turn. Actually, that sounds like dance moves, but these are beautiful and easy to add. All right, so anything I use in this video, weaverleathersupply.com or check below. We've got links there. Going to take you straight to the website. Also, if you want to know when our videos release, just click your notifications. You'll know exactly when these come out. So let's step over to our punch table, get started. I would love to have a sample project for each of these examples, but there simply isn't time. But the reason I bring that up Take any one of these and run with them. We can absolutely get creative here. In fact, this is a perfect example. This is a tuck clasp. We've all seen these. Typically just as a closure on a pouch flap or maybe a strap on a briefcase. Well, how about we use this on a pouch flap and we work the pouch flap design into our closure. Again, so many ways we can go with these. Same thing right here. Let's work that flap to work with our closure. In fact, I didn't rivet these on simply so that I can take these off and use them on an actual project. But to set this, very easy to do. So right here, let's start on this end with the tuck. Notice right here, this is going to sandwich our leather. So we're going to slide that on our leather. There we go. We can find our center mark, but right there. Now there's one trick to this. Notice right here, I slide that up. Well, naturally, it feels like I should go right to the end there. That's a problem. What we need to do is make sure our leather stops right at the bottom of that curve because then that allows, there we go, that allows that to actually close. If that leather is right down to the edge, it's not going to make it. That's the only trick to these. Okay, so on this side, what I'm going to do I'm going to mark for a rivet hole. I'm going to punch and set a rivet. There we go. I don't want to hit that too hard. That's relatively thin metal and pretty thin leather. I don't really want to crush that, but that looks good. So on our back piece, let's make sure, notice again right here, I've got my leather coming just to the bottom of that curve. Let's make sure we've got enough room for that to clip and we do, okay? So on our back side, basically this is just three times, much like a spot. Now say we wanna measure this, find out the correct spot on a pouch flap. Let's connect that, bring that down, and now all we have to do is press in because we just need the marks from that time. Now, this is pretty thin leather, so I don't really don't wanna press hard there, but I don't have to. I can see exactly what I need. So let's jump over to our palette. This is almost the same way we set spots. So right here with our art knife, let's just make our three slits. There we go, that's easy enough. And press that through. Nice, okay, on the back here, let's take this little plate, comes with it, Let's drop this on. That'll give us some good durability. Let's press that down good. Now, over on the edge of our quartz, let's bend our tines in. Nice. How easy is that to set, right? So how does it look and work? Just right. Easy to add, inexpensive, and that can certainly dress up our projects. But also, great point, in the tuck clasp, we have multiple sizes, multiple finishes. Okay, let's jump over to our next closure. One of our all-time favorite closures in Leathercraft, the swing clasp. Now, technically, this is a swing lock clasp, but we could also call it a box closure. Goes by a number of different names, but no matter what we call it, it's a great closure, looks good, easy to add. Now, there's actually two ways we can add this. Well, let's start right here standard application. So say we've got a pouch. Well, there's our pocket. I'm going to rivet my post onto my pocket and on my flap, there's our swing. Easy to line up, looks good. But we've got a little bit of a problem here because between the bottom of the flap and the bottom of the closure, that's almost a full inch. We need a lot of room there. Say our design does not allow for that. Well, actually, 
To me, this is the better way to go. So right here, we're actually bringing that post up through our flap. So therefore, we can put the closure anywhere we want. But there's a little bit of a trick to doing this. We're actually gonna start from the hole. So let's say we've got our pouch. Let's take our closure. Let's lay this in where we want it, depending on, say we've got a stamp design or some decoration. So let's lay that in right there, okay? Let's remove the swing. What I'm going to do is let's mark right where we need that post. Now, centered, we can absolutely center that, but we're just gonna eyeball this. So on this, again, these come in multiple sizes, multiple finishes, so choose, there we go, choose the right round hole for this. For this larger, I'm gonna go with the 5 16ths, or about six millimeters. So let's drop that in on our flap, okay? Now, let's run this through, swing this around, Lay this down to where it needs to be. Good. Let's lift our, our flap off. Now we know exactly where our rivet holes are. Okay, good. So I'm gonna punch those two holes and set the rivets in this piece. Okay, we've got that part set. Let's bring this around. And now, let's set our swing Good. Now let's mark right here. And there we go. To me, again, so a little more secure, a little more durable. Great closure. Okay, let's see what's up next. We're gonna go with another common closure. This is called a turn lock, simply because we turn it and lock it. But we're making a big step up here in quality. This is a nice closure. And we see this all the time on person bag. Now on this, we've got two parts. This is gonna go on our flap. This is gonna go on our pocket. So right here on the back, We've got two screws. Let's take these out. And the biggest worry on these, those little screws. Let's don't sneeze or those will go away forever. So let's set those aside. So on our pouch, here's our flap. Let's take our facial piece, figure out where on our flap we need this. I'm just gonna eyeball this one. But let's take this and let's press that in. There we go, and I think the camera can see that. Good enough, we've got an impression. Now if we don't, we can always lay this in and simply with our scribe, scribe in where this needs to be. But there we go. But also too, notice we've got two screw holes here. So let's take a punch, about a 3 16 inch. Okay, we've got those. Now we need to cut between these. We're never gonna see this. Those will be sandwiched in between our closure. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but let's at least get it close. And we can always work this if we need to. Again, we'll never see that. So let's drop our face in. Good and press that down. And easy enough, let's take this piece and simply screw that onto the back. Funny thing here, the hardest part about dealing with this closure is just simply those little screws. But that looks good. This is our Jasper pull-up, one of my favorite leathers, okay? So on our pouch pocket, we could press this in if we need to, but really, I'm just going to drop in a mark right in the middle. Good, now on our back, same thing. We've simply got tines here. So let's straddle our mark, press our tines in, and now with our palette, let's make two pretty good slits here because those are pretty wide tines right there. And those are in. Let's force this through.
Good. Get that good and flush. Flip it over. Now let's press down a little bit harder. These plates, we're going to drop one of these in. It's going to give it some durability and stability, but these are kind of generic. So let's see. There we go. That actually fits right there. Let's bend our tines in, but we got to be careful here because we don't have a flat surface to work on. Good. We've got that. Let's see how this works. Very nice. In all honesty, relatively easy to set. Most of these, again, are very similar. In fact, let's take this one apart. And let's get those out of the way. And there we are. Very similar. In fact, we don't even have to punch the round holes on this one. At Weaver, we've got all kinds of styles, but they all work the same way. But also, multiple finishes and sizes. That's a good-looking closure. Okay, one more. And this one's fun. We are all up to speed on our closures now, so this is a turn lock. That's exactly right. We turn that and it locks or unlocks. Love this design. Very creative. That is going to look good on a project. Now, one point with these, though. We're probably going to have to drop this on the bottom of our pouch flap. We need room on our pocket. We could work this up into the body like we did just a minute ago. But now we're really going to have to start punching some holes. But you know what? We know how to do that now. If we want to go that route, we certainly can. And one more point, we haven't even scratched the surface. Looks like we're going to need another video on closures. Well, I hope this unlocks the turn locks for you because the right closure can make a project pop. I hope every closure you put in fits perfectly and looks great. Good luck with your projects. Mm -hmm.